a weak love for Jesus. Thank you. You may be seated. Our viewers, we acknowledge your presence. Lusaka people who are watching Promise TV, we thank God for your life and your support. Continue doing what you are doing. Your support is not in vain. God Almighty shall reward you. Even those who are watching us on YouTube and Facebook, thank you for being there for this platform. And we are here for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, don't fight your enemy or eat your enemy, but pray for your enemy and bless your enemy. Say it again, don't fight your enemy. Say it again, don't fight your enemy, but pray for your enemy and bless your enemy. Who is your enemy? If I may ask you this question, your fellow human beings are not your enemy. But the one who possesses their body is your enemy. So if you hate your sister, your brother, because of one or two mistakes that she or he, he has made, you are fighting a long battle. And I'll prove you wrong. I want to talk about this forgiveness. I know that we read the Bible every day. We all know the language of the Bible by the history. But when it comes to understanding, that is where the problem is. The understanding is where the problem I've heard, you know, someone who is, you know, insulting, but quoting, you know, referring his issue or an issue to the Bible. Ah, but this is the person who is insulting. What are you talking about? You are talking about the history of the Bible. The history can be used by anyone, even a witch or a witch doctor. We have been to witch doctors. You agree with me? There was a time you visited a witch doctor. There you saw the Bible. And the witch doctor, you know, will tell you to say, <laughs> to fenalesa. You look at the Bible. That is history. A witch doctor cannot you know, use the Holy Spirit to judge you know, people or to tell people their problems. No. Jesus said, you received freely. Go and give what? Freely, without a coin. But I'm not talking about that one. Do you know the reason why you need those who hate you and those who persecute you? If you don't know, the word of God will make you, you know, know this today. Without your enemies, you cannot be whom God wants you to be if you don't know this. What made Jesus to be promoted to be where he is today? It's because of the other side. If Satan was not there, I don't think so. Jesus and God is there. He came to defeat the one who is against peace. By not fighting him, using machine gun, using panga, but the love of God, he demonstrated by forgiving you and me our sins. And here we are today. He did not condemn any of you. Remember what you have done. No one knows what you have done. Those your hands. What you have done with your hands, only Jesus knows. No one witnessed your secret life, what you have done with your two hands, and what you have said with your mouth. But Jesus was there. He did not condemn you when you are doing all those things. 
He applied his love. And he made you to be who you are today. Let me carry you in the book of uh, Matthew 5, verse 43. You have heard that it was said, love your, en- your neighbor and hate your enemy. This is Jesus now talking to the people who were listening to him or who were there at that particular time. 44. But I tell you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. 45. That you may be children of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and on the good. He sends the rain on the, on the righteous and the unrighteous. Take note of the word so that you, you may be the children of your father. Pray for your enemy and pray for those who persecute you so that you be like your father in heaven. He causes his reign on the field of a wizard, a witch, the killer, criminals. They have got farms. He will make his land to fall on their farms. Not only that, he will allow the sun again to shine even, you know, to those who are fighting his children, who are killing innocent people because his life is love and forgiveness. If God were to be like you, Even you and me, today, we may not see a day like this one because of what we have done in the past. That is No. He knows that one day, there will be my people. The character of God is the character of his children. If you say your father is a white man, even if your mother is a black woman, you are not going to be like your mother. You'll be a colored to show that, yes, your father is a white man. Or if your mother, she's a white woman, you are not going to be like your father who is black. You'll be like your mother. But you are not going to be a pure white because there's a mixed race there as a sign that, oh, the mother is a white woman. Now, if you claim to be the son and the daughter of Jesus, you must resemble him. You may not be perfect like him, but because he is your father, you will be like him. That is what is written here. So that you may be the children of the Father in heaven. Who doesn't look at what you have done, what you are doing. He will look, his love is always making him to wait for you. He will not you know, remind you about the things that you did in the past. When you become his child, he will bury your past. This is why even Satan cannot fight someone who is in love with God. I want to remind you, people of God, that if Jesus was to be like you and me when he was here on earth, he could not, you know, fulfill his mission here on earth because of the treatment, the insult, the name calling, the persecutions. But because he was like his father in heaven, he did not account anyone To say, okay, this is what you are doing to me. Okay, let me finish my mission. Once you know I resurrected, you are going to see. He never said that. Even after his resurrection, he never followed anyone to say, okay, it was you who arrested me and persecuted me. No. Because God is love. And someone who is in that love is unstoppable. Whether 
whether you like it or you can combine charms to fight a child of God who is walking in that love. Your charm cannot do anything to that person. Why? God is love. He doesn't wish anyone to be destroyed or you to go to hell. No. He is always waiting for you to change. And when you know you change, he will not remind you about your past. Where you are seated, think about your past life. Think about what you have done secretly. If God were to be like you, you are not qualified to be called a child of God or a servant of God because of the record. But God is not interested in that record. His interest is your life today and tomorrow. Don't wish your enemy bad things. Who be there to witness the glory of God in your life when it is time for you to shine? Who is going to say, yes, this is Jesus. This is the work of God. If you wish them, ah, eh, I, I, I send them to hell, to the hell grave, who be there to appreciate the love of God in your life? Just because a man disappointed you? Let that man witness your wedding one day. The woman that you disappointed, you are witnessing the kissing and the eating of the cake in your presence. There you know that this is God. But in a situation whereby when you are disappointed, you become sick and you start wishing people bad things, cursing them. Who cursed you? Did God Almighty curse you when you committed that sin? When you aborted that child private, did God curse you? No. As long as you are a human being. You are not perfect. You learn how to be perfect from Jesus himself. If you, you are ready to follow him, Jesus is willing to teach you how to live a perfect life. How to live a good life in a world where there is no love, where there is hatred. Let me jump from there. Let me take you to I want to, to prove you the reason why you need to allow your enemy to be there for you. Let's go to the uh, Psalms. We all know this scripture. Psalms 23, verse 5. I'll just go direct to the point. This is Psalms 23, verse 5. I'm going to read all of it, made by the grace of God on Sunday, but let me just go to the point. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil. Take note of this. You prepare a table before me in the presence of who? My enemies. Simply means our enemies are also important. God who bless you in the presence of your enemy is going to anoint you in the presence of the people who rejected you, who wished you bad things. Hmm. Listen to this now. Surely, your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord. It doesn't mean that you'll be sleeping inside the church. No. You could be there in your house, but your spirit is here. As long as your spirit is in the presence of God, no one can attack you and destroy you. You prepare a table in the presence of who? My lovers? Mm, the people who love me? The people who support me? No. In the presence of my enemy, you start shining in the presence of your enemy. And after seeing that, they will change their confession. You say, no, I think this one, ah, no, 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 I thought this one is this. I, this one is ABCD. This one is useless. People of God, take it serious. Love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Those who wish you bad things, you will never see good things in your life. 
Jesus said, no, you will see good things in your life. If your heart is for Jesus. But if you say, okay, to ala filila munsenga. Ha. If you follow his word, you live above flesh, you know, things. You live above the weakness of this body. You don't feel the way they feel, those who are depending on their strength as human beings. The positions they are holding, the money that they have, the level of their education. Satan doesn't care even if you are educated. He's a killer. You prepare a table in the presence of who? My lovers, my sisters, my brothers, my enemies. Why do you want your enemy to go? Who will be there to say God is real? If all your enemies were to die today, who will be there to witness that day? What are you gaining? Is there any reward? Tell me. What are you gaining if you say, okay, you go to which doctor? Then you, you start bewitching that person to say, you never give birth. And indeed, the person, you know, never give what? What are you gaining? Are you benefiting? You are a human being. And God created you for his own good and his own purpose. If you say, okay, I wish you all the best. I wish you all what? Go and enjoy with uh, my former man. And you forgive and forget. Do you know what God can do for you? Oh, you don't know Jesus. He will bring something higher than what you were fighting for to make you forget about the pain of the past so that you appreciate the love of God in your life. But if you keep on, you're not saying, okay, they will see, see the way you are slimming. You are losing weight. What are you gaining? No appetite. Your body is now going uh, horizontal. Eh? The structure is damaged. You keep on saying what and what. All the things the man followed is gone, disappeared. He, he, each time he sees you, he feels irritated. You are going to die. But if you say, oh God, I wish that man the blessings of God. I wish that woman the blessings of God. The Bible says that he will prepare his table in the presence of your what? Your enemy. Let your enemy witness that day. Mulenga will never, never, you know, progress in his life. Are you my Jesus? I will not pay attention to what you are saying about me. No. I know who is my father. I know what my father has for me. So pray for your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Don't wish them bad things. You are blocking your way. You are delaying that table. God has a table for you full of what? Blessings. And the witnesses of that table is your enemy. If you kill them today, that table will never, will never come to you. Because there will be no one to witness that table. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No, that is Pastor Mlenga who is standing there. Ah, where are you going with Pastor Mlenga? It doesn't mean that you are not a child of God. You are a child of God. Don't say, okay, thou shalt not touch. Thou shalt not insult. Leave it for God. If you allow God to fight your battle, you will pit your enemy. You will pit your enemy, I'm telling you. But if you are trying to be strong and fight on behalf of God, your enemy too will fight you more than what you know you are thinking. Because they stand a better chance on the physical side to fight you. But if you allow God to fight your battle, 
you are standing a better what? Chance to defeat them. No, tapadi chaka manaudia. Adi nkarifia. Ah, ngai mamu kamanenshi. Uri aino kumpepela. Ukumana ni mumanda. Ah. And then mwa ingila mchechi. Lesa wandi. Nde lomba fi. Mumpare. Samdele kula pano kupepati. Tatabalo wani wandi bonse. Na papela povati. Mm. Which scripture? Yo ba meyo lokula pela balo wani povati. Which scripture? Hmm? Mwele sanishi mwele sungila wa ya mabala atu kwa mfamidi. Even if that man is a wizard, your law is to wish that person God's what? Favor and his blessings. Because you are representing God here on earth, people of God. Make no mistake. Don't follow their path because of the pain they are afflicting in your life. Yes, I know that it's very difficult, you know to understand this as a human being. But take note of that word. He prepared a table in the presence of who? Your lovers. I can't hear you. Is it within your lovers? Your enemies. Let your enemy be shocked one day to say, ah, is this Mlenga we know? Yes, I am the one. Ah, we thought this man would go ahead, then, but look at him. Ah. We need to know what is happening to you. Before you know it, they will start appreciating the love of God. The Bible says that so that you, be, you may become the children of your father in heaven. He causes the land to fall on the righteous and the unrighteous. All these things are happening not to, you know, I mean for fun, but to let you know that God Almighty is love. He cares for everyone. It is not because of the work that you have done. That's why God can care for your blood. No, that is his nature. And that is what he wants even his children to carry. Hmm. Can you pray such kind of prayer? Mbapale bampundu. Can you pray? Life, I'm in a Christ, let me tell you. Jesus, I'm in a life, I'm in a people. Now, life, I'm in a people. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master. Hatred, complaining, wishing people bad things is not the life of a child of God. Your life must be full of prayer and joy inside your heart. Unlike the life that we are living, you are asking God to bless you today. Look at your heart. Look at your heart. Pastor, pray for me. I have got this problem. Yes, as a pastor, I sympathize with you. What about the spirit of God using me? Because him is looking at your heart. Me, I'm looking at your body. He will look at your heart. This is not the first time I share this message with you. But I realize that you are delaying that table of blessings because you are holding a grudge against your brother and your sister. You are always wishing them bad things. You are always complaining about things that, you know, which happened long time. Look at your hands. Look at your hand face. What you have done with your two hands. No one knows but God knows. Mwele sande pepela badia I'm asking you this question. Quit my paper, Abaro, and when we find you smoke, watch Tikila, Balaba Michusha. When you pray dangerous prayer, you wish people to go early. Jesus said, Pray for your enemy 
and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be, become the children of your father in heaven. Look at the collect of God. There are people who are drinking beer today. They are using the same oxygen that you and me we are using. There are people who are consulting which doctor now they are getting charms to go and kill. And yet, God is there to protect them and to give them the life. They will use the same life to bewitch an innocent person. Be like your father in heaven so that you receive this table. God bless you.